Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask a Bible question. And if you send in your Bible question, I'll try to answer it. Do my best to give you a Bible answer. Please keep your questions Bible-related because Scripture verse by verse and Coffee Break Q&A are Bible-focused ministries. You can study the whole Bible with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website using my audio Bible messages. That's at thebibleversebyverse.com. Well, let's get into today's question. I received a question from a man who wrote, What would you say to a Christian parent of a homosexual? Well, I would tell him that his son needs to be reassured of his dad's love for him, as well as God's love for him. I would make it clear to the young man that God's love will not save him from hell if he doesn't repent. I would let the father know that God has delivered many from that sin and is able to deliver his son as well. I would tell his father that deliverance comes only from the Holy Spirit working through the Word of God, and that Word of God is something that his son needs to hear. That young man needs to be saved. He needs to know that he's a sinner like all of us and that he needs to repent and receive Christ or he will eventually burn in hell like everyone else who rejects God's mercy that only comes through the Savior who died on the cross to pay for our sin. He needs to know that. His son also needs to hear the straight truth. And the truth is he is on thin ice with God, to put it mildly. And I would definitely read him, or if possible, let his son read out loud the scriptures that condemn the sin of homosexuality. I would read him, or better yet, I would have him read these verses out loud to make it clear that this is not an issue between him and his father, but rather an issue between him and Almighty God. I would have him read 1 Corinthians Chapter 6, verses 9 and 10, which say, Do you not know that the unrighteous, notice the unrighteous, will not inherit the kingdom of God? Well, who are the unrighteous, God? He goes on, Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. God includes homosexuals in that list of sinners. It is a sin. I would let him read Romans chapter 1, verses 26 through 28, which says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women changed the natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is, God says, unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense for their error, which is fitting. And even as they did not retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not fitting. What an indictment. That is a mouthful from God on the sin of homosexuality. I would tell him to read Leviticus 18.22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. I would have him read Leviticus 20.13. If a man also shall lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And I also would read or have him read aloud Genesis 19, 1 through 11, the story of what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah because of their sin of homosexuality. And of course, deliverance from his sin is like deliverance from any sin. It is the work of the Holy Spirit using God's word and prayer. And that's what it's going to take. And he must be a willing, he must be a willing person. And if you have a question, I hope that helps. And if you have a question, please send it to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. Scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. So long, everyone.